guys, it's Jamie Greenberg, celebrity makeup artist, and I'm here with the gorgeous Alice. What's up? Today I'm creating a look called Nude Lips for the Win. Let's do this. Now, one of my favorite things to do when I first start out with my client is kind of set the mood, set the tone. So I love to use the Burt's Bees Facial Cleansing Towelettes because the smell instantly makes you relax. And remember, it removes oil, it removes dirt, it removes makeup. Doesn't that smell so good? So right? <laughs> it's like you're at the spa. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep her skin. Now, with perfect skin, you get perfect makeup. So it's really the most important step in the whole process. We're gonna apply a little bit of this intensive firming serum. It kind of firms the skin, smooths the skin, and it actually helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And Alice, you have none. So, thank you. So I just like to apply it all over the face. I love the way that it kind of wakes up the face. And again, it's a great base. Next, I'm gonna use the Renewal Smoothing Eye Cream. Our under eye area is usually the thinnest and most worn area. It's where we see like if we don't get enough sleep or enough water. So I'm just gonna apply a nice little amount underneath the eyes and then just massage it in. The last step I like to take on the skin, and this is kind of like one of my own little secrets, is the Burt's Bees Baby Bee Oil. And this is all natural, doesn't have any sulfates or parabens. I just take the smallest amount, rub it in my hand, and then press it into the skin. All right, next what we're gonna do is hydrate the lips. So by the time I get to the lip to put on your lipstick, your lips are super hydrated. I'm gonna use the Burt's Bees Vanilla Bean Moisturizing Lip Balm. It's one of my faves. And just place it all over the lips. She's gonna fall asleep because everything smells so good. <laughs> okay, and then the next thing I did was take this really fun color and just place it on her lid and into the crease. I didn't want it to look like there was too much going on with the eyes because it really is about staying neutral and nude throughout the whole look. Next, I took these two darker like burgundy colors and put it right here. Just a little kiss. So now what you're gonna do is take a cream eyeliner in black and fill in the lash line. Instead of putting eyeliner on the top, we're only gonna do it underneath your lashes. And that way you get definition like you're wearing an eyeliner, but you don't actually have to have eyeliner on. Now I'm gonna take this eye pencil and I'm gonna rim it underneath your lower lash line. A subtle smoke to the entire eye, which you can do that, you can subtly smoke. And what we're gonna do is take a lash primer, throw it on the lashes. You know, we're staying neutral, we're staying nude with everything, so even the lashes are gonna be natural. Now we're gonna take black mascara and put it on the top and the bottom. Gorgeous, mommy. Gorgeous, amazing, can't stop, won't stop. Now I'm gonna go back to my facial cleansing towelettes. Burt's Bees, thank you. We're gonna get another whiff of happiness and relaxation. And I'm just gonna clean up under your eyes and look up and not to move any of my makeup, but just to get any fallout. See, lots of fallout. I'm not very neat when I work. So now we're gonna buff on foundation. Now I'm taking a contour sculpting color, like a darker color and placing it in the hollows of her cheeks. And then last but not least, just the lightest kiss of color. Take a little bit of this pink nude cheek cream and place it on the apples of her cheeks. Now I'm going to place two different Burt's Bees lip colors. So the first one is Carolina Coast number 423 in the Lip Crayons, which is one of my faves. And the lips are super gorgeous and hydrated, but this is just to give you like a pink face because I want this nude to kind of read pink. So it's like a cool pink. Then I'm gonna apply Suede Splash, number 502 in the Burt's Bees lipsticks. And you get this really pinky nude. How does that feel? Al? Soft, smooth, gorgeous. gorgeous, gorgeous. One last step if you want the nude to pop just a teeny bit more. I'm gonna take a little bit of the 100% natural lip gloss from Burt's Bees and this is Sweet Sunset, and I'm just gonna place it as like a kiss of color all over the lip. I think layering in most makeup is like a great idea, and especially with the lips, because it makes it last longer. We prepped, we primed, we placed, and we finished. 
So I'm just gonna say nude lips for the win! New lips for the win dance. New lips for the win dance. New lips for the win dance. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Nude lips for the win. We have a beautiful just nude wash of color on the face. Alice, you look gorgeous. I'm loving it. Where are you gonna go? To the grocery store, but hopefully I'll pick up somebody. Oh, I'm there. I love it. I love <laughs> it. Thank you guys so much for watching. For more information about the Birds Bees products, go to birdsbees.com and have a fabulous day.